1980s. They're not very thick. He said people could grab them whenever they needed, but then they were taken off, and he thinks they need to be put back on units. When a crazed shooter randomly targeted our citizens on Monday, firefighters were among first responders. Policy says they must wait for police to clear the scene, but sometimes firefighters find themselves in danger right away. As we uh, make more and more of these uh, shootings, uh, we are the first ones on, on location. And they're making these scenes without the protection uh, that they could use to, to protect themselves. The president of the Houston Professional Firefighters Union, who's in Chicago for a conference, notes how an active shooter around Memorial Day sprayed a fire engine. In 2012, this Houston ambulance took bullets. Yeah, I think it's time that the city step up and provide the men and women of the department with a vest uh, to protect them. We don't want to give our members a false sense of security. Today, Houston's fire chief and Houston's mayor said the city is looking at its policy and it's aware of the change made in San Antonio. The concern is whether or not when you put on those, uh, on those vests, whether or not firefighters will feel that they are more safe than they are and will go deeper into, into danger. So uh, they're taking a look at it. There is no timetable, Mayor Sylvester Turner said. Would budget or money ever come into play on something like this? No, but right now it's, it's all about their safety. Now, some places in the country, firefighters want to actually be able to carry guns while they are on duty. The concern, though, is that firefighters would need a lot more training like police officers get before that could ever happen. Last legislative session, someone did propose uh, that here in Texas, but it never made it into law. We're live in southwest Houston. Jace Larson, KPRC Channel 2 News. All right, Jace.